Hi, my name is Hector, and today I'm going to work on my 2002 Lincoln Town Car. I'm going to be replacing the spark plugs. But before we get started here, we need to gap the spark plugs. The spark plugs that I got for this car is Autolite's Iterium XP. Part number will be <clears throat> XP104. I got eight of them, so I'm going to gap eight of them. If you have one of these, use it because uh, you can't use the round ones because you'll break the tips off the tip off of this so this particular gap that I have goes as high as 54 my car calls for 52 56 either 52 or 56 so this one since it's 54 that'll do this one is pre gapped at 44 so I'm gonna gap it to 54 so when you gap it, make sure you be careful how you do it. So in this case, I just get this open end and then bend it a little bit and check to see if I got it. Nope, see, a little bit at a time. They say not to gap these because they're pre-gapped, but you know what? The box says make sure it's gapped to specifications, so that's what I'm doing. May take a little bit, but just do it a little bit at a time. See, I got it. So, see, it stops right there. So I'm gonna stop right there. Now I already pre-gapped all the other ones. So here we, and now I'm ready to install it in my car. Okay, before we start removing the spark plugs, we gotta disconnect the negative side of the battery. Okay, next we're gonna remove this cover which is a quarter inch drive to take this off right here. See, all you need is a quarter inch. That's, that's how it comes off. The cover comes off. Next, we're going to take off the uh, cold air intake, which is a 5 sixteenths. It clamps here by the throttle body and here where the air cleaner is at. There's two of them. They're 5 sixteenths and then the bolt right here is 7, uh, seven sixteenths. Make sure you put the bolt where you know where it's at. Now the air, cold air intake should come right out. And then a couple of hoses right here on the side here. You can pull them off. They're easy to re put back. You can tell where okay, they go next, anyway. Next, we pull the wire off. There's a clip right here. All you do is just push and pull and it comes right out okay and then with a seven millimeter you take the bolt off here right here comes right out one thing about this here at this particular car or is that Replacing the spark plugs are real easy. And then just give it a little twist and it should come right out. And there's the coil. There's a total of eight of them. They're easy to remove. So let's go with the, uh, go for the spark plug. Oh yeah, make sure you always put the screw where you know where it's at. You lose that and then you'll be in trouble. All right, next. We're going to pull the spark okay, plug. Okay, the spark plug takes a 5 8 socket, has a little rubber piece inside, so that it holds the spark plug. You got to sometimes push down. There we go. Push down on it and, and turn. <clears throat> it should come right out easy after loosening it up. Okay. And there it is. There's the old spark plug. I see.
see looks like this one is a Bosch should always replace uh, spark plugs that it calls for like all Fords or, Mer or Mercury anything made by Ford should be auto lights now just before I use the uh, tool I like to put a little uh, lube you get this AutoZone spark, it's called spark plug lube just throw some little grease on there that way that it's easier to pull the wrench out and you put it on the so that way it's easier to pull out okay now I got a bigger uh, one extension so I can uh, make it go in there easier and uh, you always want to do this by hand so that way you know you don't cross thread and then just snug it up not too tight and then you just pull it pull it right out okay and then you put put your uh, coil back make sure it's nice and snug and you get your screw it's best to do this one at a time so that way you don't lose nothing Go. And I take a, my wrench here and snug it up a little bit. Just a little, not too much. Okay, and then you put your plug back. All right, I'm going to do the rest of them and then uh, we'll try this car out after I put all the spark plugs in. it up just a little bit that way they don't vibrate out just remember not too tight because you know you can strip it and that it, 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 you don't want that side is done now the other side okay now the other side so we got this one right here this one right here this one and the one back here this might be a little bit of a pain but still we could still get it all right the little tab comes out just push on that little tab and it comes right out
short one instead of a long one, because that one, like I say. But be patient, you'll get it. <clears throat> Seems like the other side was easier. Okay, got it. See? A little patience, you get it. There you go. Out it comes. Snug that up, not too tight, and it comes right out. See? Socket comes right out. Okay, now we're going to put back the cold air intake into the car. Okay. Okay, that goes in there, that goes in there. There's no way you can make a mistake because they're two different sizes. Now this end here. Snug it up. Okay, right, get that done. on there. Now that's all snugged up. Next, we put the cover on. Real easy. That's where the tabs go. Right there. Put that in. Hold on. All right. Everything's buttoned up. Now to start it up. Let's see what it does. before you start it <laughs> see I forgot got to remember to put your negative side on otherwise the car won't start okay that's nice and snug now to replace the spark plugs. There's always one that will give you trouble, that back one on the passenger side. But with patience, you can get it. My name is Hector. I hope this uh, helps you out. Thank you for watching.